Uh, what it is is it's a, a program that that, that combines uh, indigenous uh, fashion and design and embellishment techniques uh, with uh, uh, with couture, uh, making it like a, a very high end fashion garment. And we have a cross section of indigenous artists and designers uh, from across the country, with with also a focus on repurposing materials as well, which a lot of the participants have have, have done, repurposing leather jackets, fur, etc. It's very exciting. It's original design. It's all put together by hand. Uh, you, there's artisans who, who have like decades of experience, and you're getting a quality a, a, a product that is that is uh, original and uh, it's not mass produced. And usually all the materials that are involved are uh, eco-friendly, right? Uh, certainly not fast fashion. I mean, just to give you an example, uh, a pair of like Dene beaded gauntlets. I showed a friend of mine from Europe, uh, fully beaded with, with beaver trim. And I said, how much would a Paris fashion house, there's one called Lesage that does all the bead work for, for, for the couture houses. And he said, Lesage would easily charge 10,000 US dollars. So, I mean, imagine what a pair of gauntlets is worth from, you know, anywhere in the north. These are caribou hair tufted earrings uh, made by myself, and they're a couture earring. And most of my pieces are very high end. I'm using authentic material, natural materials from our animals, from the land. Um, and then we're purchasing. Beads are so much different um, in regards to the ones that they're creating now, like 24 karat gold earrings, or I mean beads. And the other thing is, long time ago, our people weren't given the fair value of their product. And so now we have this resurgence, we're pricing, marketing our products to the value that it actually is. And, on, and the value added is the story behind it, which is really nice. The whole game has changed when it comes to 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 the garment business on the re from the retail perspective. You're seeing big box stores like J. Crew and Brooks Brothers, uh, you know, as an example, uh, going bankrupt. And now everything is online. I mean, uh, and uh, and the platform for for promoting your work has changed as well, because now, I mean, in the old days, like my old days, you had to design your collection, you know, produce it. Uh, book the runway time, photographers, models, you know, uh, it, it just goes on and on. Then you have to produce it and promote it and hope you get press, right? Uh, whereas nowadays you have social media platforms like Instagram and uh, TikTok and of course Facebook. And these are platforms that, that designers, young or, or, or master craftsmen can use to promote their work. And it, it, you have a global audience. So if you go viral with one of your your, your products or or one of your you know videos to promote your work, I mean, it's a, it's a whole new game. Everybody wants to get their hands on the earrings that people are producing these days. They're so cool, and I think that's uh, one of the big things. And also uh, clothing too, like it takes a lot of time and it looks beautiful. People want to have those items. Well, Lucy and Anne and I have been traditional teachers for, I think, over 30 years in our own little way. So we are getting like some of the smaller communities asking us to come and teach. Like here, we're teaching porcupine quilling and beading. And then we kind of threw in a bonus and we're teaching them loose hair, tough, uh, twisting and possibly some tufting. Um, so there has been a big call and there's so much respect when we do teach them. It's just warms the heart. And it, it's good for us too, because we want to keep passing on those skills because we're not getting younger, we're getting older. <laughs> uh, I notice when I look at what's being produced now, people are using like the porcupine quills in a non-traditional way where they use the quill as a bead. Whereas in the traditional way of sewing with them if they were used like when they were flattened and sewed down on the hide or whatever material you were using. So we've been able to show them and they've all been very excited to learn these traditional techniques. The great thing about working with the BAM Center is that we have all these resources at our fingertips and we're just kind of touching the tip of the, uh, the, tip of the iceberg. Uh, I mean, uh, um, they have like all the latest technology when it comes to 3D printing, laser printing, laser cuts, laser cutouts, 
fabric treatments, uh, like screening and uh, no tea dyeing. Um, it, it, just go, it, it, it's, it just goes on and on. And a few designers are experimenting, like we have some doing uh, printing techniques on ball skirts, some are doing laser cuts on leather. You know, I mean, so the, uh, the, there's, there's a whole cross-cultural. Like I said, we're hoping with the Vance that there'll be more of these, 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 these programs, these workshops over the next three years. And we're, we're just exploring more and more. Like it's, it's, what we're doing here is groundbreaking because we're mixing uh, very, very traditional techniques that our great, great grandmothers and grandmothers used to use. And we're mixing it with technology and, uh, and it's, it's being embraced. Everything is at our fingertips. It's we have our own studios. Um, it's no stress. We get we have the space to create, and they're even sensitive to um, because this is an institution. We've been in residential school. Um, it's all, it's really good because even any little triggers like a bell, like say when the bell goes, if you're doing a little bit, a presentation, to that degree, they're so. Um, I guess, compassionate and understanding. They're so sensitive to every single need that we um, need here. So it just gives us all the room to create. And, and, and recognizing that also the BAM Center is on Treaty 7 land, which is yes. really important. Recognizing the First Nation for that, et cetera. It's a, it's a very, it's very respectful.